in our previous video we have learned about this quotation elements we have already seen about this abbreviation and also we have seen about address element and this site element now in this tutorial we are going to learn about the target attribute and also we will understand the differences between absolute part and relative part and also we are going to use title attributes and we are going to understand lot of things here okay now from here i'm just going to comment this entire thing let me just comment this one now below this i'll be writing one comment and inside this i'm just going to give here the target attribute i'll save this now here i'm just going to create one anchor tag and inside this href i'm just going to give this image this image i have copied in my previous tutorial so i'm just giving that image path now here let me just write here click me i'll save this i'll just copy this file path now here i'm just going to paste that one and now if you see the output here i'm having this click me now when i click on this you can see this image will be displayed okay whatever i have given inside this href attribute that is been displayed to me now i'll just search for some image let me just write here doremon and from here i'm just going to select one image i'll just come to images let me just select this one and here i'm just going to copy image address i have just copied now below this i'm just going to create another anchor tag now inside this href attribute i'm just going to give that path okay whatever i have copied i'm just going to paste that one okay th okay this link is very very large so i'm not going to use this one i'm just going to remove instead of this let me just come here and here i'll be writing pexels.com let me just search for that one pexels.com and from this website you will be having completely free images you will not be having any copyright issues if you are using images from this website okay here i'm just going to open this one now from here let me just search for nature i'll search here now from here i'm just going to select one image let me just copy this image i'm just going to copy image address i have copied and here i'm just going to paste that one okay now here i am having this one i'll just close anchor tag now inside this let me just write here elephant image elephant image i'll save this i'll just come here i'll just come back i'll refresh this one now when i click on this click me you can see here i am having this image now but when i click on this elephant image this image will be displayed to me but the problem is you can see in the same tab it is getting displayed okay you can see in the same tab it is getting displayed again i have to come back when i click on this click me again in the same tab it is going to print okay now i just want to display in this new tab okay so for that we are just going to use target attribute now now inside this anchor tag okay we have already seen by default it is going to open in the same tab now if i just want to print in the new tab so for that we are going to use target attribute here i'll be writing target and inside this i'm just going to write this blank i'll just write this blank value i'll come here i'll refresh this one now when i click on this you can see it is been opened in new tab okay here you can see here i am having this image and it is been opened here but for this i have not given target attribute for elephant image now when i click on this it will be opened in the same tab and whatever path i have given here that image will be displayed okay but for this one it is been opened in new tab okay this is the basic difference okay for this purpose we are going to use target attribute by default it will be self okay here i'm just going to write that one by default self means it is going to print in the same tab so if you want to print in the same tab then we are not going to use target attribute but if you want to print in new tab then we are just writing here blank okay it is going to print in new tab and also in the same way we are having parent and we are having top you don't have to worry about that we are not going to use parent and top in any of our projects so you just have to understand this blank now here i'll be telling the difference between absolute path and relative path now whatever image path i have given here that is relative because here you can see inside this folder itself i am having this image which means that this file and this file are related to this folder okay inside this only i am having so they are related so this is called as relative path i'm just going to close this one and this is called as absolute path okay whatever https whatever you have given this one if you are giving this external file path this is called as absolute path okay this path is not related to any of my content i have directly copied this link and i have pasted this link okay so this is not related to my project and this is not related to any of my files and folders okay so this is called as absolute path and it is always suggested that whenever you are creating website you just create separate images folder and inside this you store all the images and use relative paths whenever you specify images because 
okay this absolute parts we can't give any guarantee that this may be broken in future okay this part may be broken in future and wherever you have used this parts that may not be displayed to the user okay they will be getting alt attribute text they will not be getting any images if this link is broken so it is always suggested that you should always create one images folder inside that you have to store images and you just have to give relative path in your projects okay this is the basic difference so this relative path will be related to the files and folders and this will be external path inside our folder we will not be having any images we are just going to copy the path from external sources and we are just going to paste that one okay this is all about absolute and relative path now here now here if you see whenever i hover on this i am not having any data okay nothing has been displayed to me okay below if you see here this entire path will be displayed whenever i click on this you can see this entire path will be displayed but i want whenever i click on this i want some hover message so for that we have already seen we are using title attribute now here i'm just going to write here anchor tag and inside this i'm just going to come here i'll just search in pixels i'll just come for pixels.com i'll just come here here let me just write here butterfly let me just copy this one copy image address and here inside this href i'm just going to paste that one and also i'm just going to okay before that let me just show you uh, i'll be writing here butterfly and also for each anchor tag i'm just going to add here break tag okay anchor tags are inline elements so you don't have to worry what is in line i'm just going to add here break so that my output will be displayed in separate lines i'll come here i'll refresh this one now you can see here i'm having click me here i'm having elephant image now here if you see the colors okay this is been changed to purple and this is dark blue because i'll just increase the size now you can see the basic difference we are having many conditions like visited links unvisited links hover links okay you don't have to worry about that but you can see the color is been changed now once i click on this butterfly button you can see this image is been opened in the same tab i'll just come back after i visited this one this color is been changed to purple now whenever i click on this you can see this color is changed to red okay this everything we are going to study when we are studying about css okay this image is been opened now whenever i hover i just want some information should be displayed so here i'm just going to add here title attribute now here i'm just going to add here butterfly info butterfly information i'll save this i'll save this one i'll come here i'll refresh this now whenever i hover on this you can see i'm getting this butterfly information message okay, i'll just come here now whenever i hover on this you can see here i'm having this butterfly information okay this is how we are going to use title attribute inside links and always anchor tag will be having this underline you can remove this underline by giving some stylings now as i told you i am not going to mix css and html once we learn about css then we are going to learn everything about underlines how to remove this one everything we are going to study and also what are this unvisited links what are this visited links what is this hover effect everything we are going to see okay this is all about target attribute and also absolute path and relative paths we have seen and also we have seen how to use title attribute inside this anchor tag okay that's all for today's tutorial thank you so much for listening have a great day